Okay. Hi, this is Wayne Garcia, political whore from Creative Loafing newspaper, and we're here at the St. Pete Times Forum, downtown Tampa, for the Barack Obama rally. Expected to draw more than 20,000 people. Uh, Barack uh, will be speaking at noon. We don't know yet uh, what the topic of his address will be, but most of the people we've talked to here in the crowd honestly really don't care what he has to say. They just want to see the man who might be the next president of the United States. The same stories that we heard our fathers tell us about John F. Kennedy and his era and the Martin Luther King and the March on Washington, this is another chapter in history that will be repeated time and time again that we'll pass on to our children. And so it was important to be here because we haven't had this opportunity in our adult lifetime. Yeah, I think that the message behind the motivational and powerful speaking is it's what's most important. And that's why we're here. Because he's obviously in the news, you see him, what a great speaker, but we're here to see for ourselves. Is he really meaning what he's saying? Is he really going to do this? I wasn't running because I thought it was somehow owed to me. I wasn't running because of some long-held ambition. I was running because of what Dr. King called the fierce urgency of now. We can't wait to fix our schools. We can't wait to fix our health care system. We can't wait to bring good jobs and good wages right here to Tampa. We cannot wait to end this war in Iraq. We cannot wait, and that's why I'm running for president of the United States right here, right now. We didn't have this when I became a voting agent. There wasn't this enthusiasm. There wasn't this hope. There wasn't this faith in the government. He has re-established credibility of government and leadership. We need a president who sees the government not as a tool to enrich friends and high-priced lobbyists, but as the defender of fairness and opportunity for every American. And, and let me be fair about this. Now, John McCain has agreed with me on some of the steps we need to make our government more ethical and accountable. Almost a decade ago, he offered a bill that, in his words, would ban a candidate from paying registered lobbyists. John McCain then would be pretty disappointed with John McCain now because he hired some of the biggest lobbyists in Washington to run in pain. And when he was called on it, his top lobbyist actually had the nerve to say, the American people won't care about this. Well, I think the American people do care about it. And I know they have a clear choice in this election. Like, we've grown up in a government where I feel like we aren't understood, and I haven't agreed with my government since I was like nine years old. So yeah. it's so nice to see people I agree with running for president. It's, it's so nice. So let me ask you this. You're not young. You're not black. You're, n you're not exactly in Obama's demographic. Why, why does he speak to you? Why go through all the trouble to get tickets to see him speak today? I liked his message. It doesn't matter what color you are or who you are was his message. A positive, upbeat, and change. We, we need as much change as we can get because of, you know, the uh, current situation. In fact, I'm going from Republican and I'm switching over tomorrow to the Democratic uh, Party. He's not only got the right policy, uh, which, other, which Hillary does too, uh, but he has the capacity to restore hope and enthusiasm and motivation to the people of the country. And that really sets him apart. What did he talk about? What Any one issue that really uh, did, did it for you that is your number one issue? Um, definitely education. My mom's a third grade teacher, and I have two siblings who are in uh, high school and middle school. And Amendment 1 passing has really hit them hard. And it's taken hard all the teachers I've had that have impacted me. And just, I think we really do need to strive to have something better than no child left behind. We can make sure that every child has the best education this country has to offer from the day they are born till the day they graduate from college by investing in early childhood education to close the achievement gap and getting every child prepared for school, by paying our teachers higher salaries and giving them more support, by altering No Child Left Behind so that kids are not just learning to a test. I believe in high standards, but I also want our kids learning art and music and science and history and civics. And I want to make sure that every young person can go to college, so we're going to provide a $4,000 tuition credit every student, every year, in exchange
exchange for community service, national service, work in a homeless shelter, work in a veteran's home, join the Peace Corps. We'll invest in you, you invest in America. Together we'll march this country forward. In regards to the $4,000 credit, as well as making sure that we give back into the Peace Corps and volunteering at the homeless shelter and things of that nature, I feel like that'll be so beneficial to us and others that will need us in this world. And so that's it from uh, the St. Pete Time Forum. Uh, Barack Obama spoke for about a half hour from this stage here to wild applause and enthusiasm. I think the most interesting thing he talked about was his education initiatives. Uh, there wasn't uh, anything new here, but he talked about a $4,000 tuition credit uh, for people if you do national service afterward, community service, sort of like the AmeriCorps idea give back to your community and we'll pay for your education. I think that sounded a, a resonant theme here. A lot of high school students, a lot of college students, a lot of young people, a lot of African Americans uh, in this crowd. So from the St. Pete Times Forum, I'm Wayne Garcia, political editor of Creative Loafing.